Welcome to our video on how to build a bathhouse. In this video, we will be building a single chamber bathhouse. Bathhouses are great to build because they provide a safe home for bats to roost in the summer months. This is especially important in suburban areas like Long Island because there are not a lot of natural roosts left like forests or trees. Please join us in the rest of this video as we build a bathhouse. Our first step to build our bathhouse is going to be collect all the materials you need, including plywood, cuts of pine, exterior grade stain and primer or paint, a caulking gun with caulk, exterior grade deck screws, paint brushes, and a saw or table saw. We got all these materials at our Home Depot and local home improvement store. You can also use materials that you may have lying around the house that fit some of these descriptions. We are basing our build of this bathhouse off of instructions from Bat Conservation International and the National Wildlife Federation, and we can attach those links in the description. The next step is to measure and cut your wood. The instructions recommend using a table saw or circular saw for this step if you have one, but we managed to cut the wood just fine using a handsaw. The next step is to put grooves into your bat house. So basically you want to rough up the texture for the bats to crawl up into the bat house. The instructions say to put the grooves at least a half inch apart um, so you can measure this out and then start cutting the grooves. Or you can also uh, staple or connect um, some plastic mesh to the back. That also apparently works well for bats. We didn't have a circular saw for this project and we found that a hand saw took forever, a long time to get the grooves in place, but we found that a box cutter worked really well at getting these grooves in place. Uh, we don't have to be too worried about creating perfect lines, you don't need to create perfect grooves when you do this, it kind of more mimics the tree. So there you have the grooves. So once you have your grooves in place, you'll want to stain the interior of your bathhouse. That includes the front or top, the vent, and the back of the house. You want to find an exterior grade stain. We had a little difficulty finding that and the exact, exact type you would need, but the home improvement folks suggested we use a dark stain and then coat that with some exterior grade protectant. So there's kind of some ways you can get around it if you can't find exactly what you need in the store right now. Also, you want to have a dark color stain to mimic the inside of the tree and mimic what a bat's natural habitat would be. So once you have the interior of your bathhouse stained and protected, you want to move on to the next step of assembling the bathhouse. You want to add the walls and then the top of the bathhouse and the vent. The first step in this process is to put caulk on the interior of the bathhouse and then to attach the walls. The reason that we use caulk in this process is to keep the bathhouse nice and insulated. The bats need a very warm home or a very warm place to raise their babies in the summer months. The bats have only one pup a summer, so their population grows very slowly. So this bathhouse and its nice warm inside will create a nice and safe home for the mothers and their babies. Mm -hmm. 
After you caulk the sides and attach the walls, you want to screw the walls into the back of the bat house. You want to use exterior grade screws if you can find them. We also found that screws about a half inch in length work best. You want to use also a small drill bit to avoid cracking the wood. We used about three screws to attach each wall. Next you're going to attach the top two pieces and you're going to leave a space between the two to allow for ventilation. The first step in this process will be caulking the sides to attach the top and then you're going to screw the sides in again. Remember to put the stain side down as we're going to be staining the outside of the bathhouse next. When you're attaching the second set of screws to attach the top to the sides, you also want to be careful of the first set of screws that you put in. It might be good to mark where you put the first set of screws so your second set don't hit the first. It's also important once the bat house is mostly assembled to go back with some caulk and fill in any exterior holes and grooves. This protects the bat house from external elements and maintains insulation. The next step is optional but highly recommended. We added a simple wooden roof to our bat house by screwing it into the top of the structure. The roof is a recommended add for another layer of protection from external elements like rain. Next we want to paint our bat house. It is suggested to apply three coats of exterior grade paint or stain. We again were unable to find exterior grade stain in our local store, so we used normal stain and then applied an exterior grade protective sealant. Also, the color choice is important when painting your bat house. In Long Island and the Northeast, it is suggested to use black paint or stain. Darker colors are advised where high temps in July are less than 85 degrees Fahrenheit and for areas that get less sun exposure. The color choice helps to increase heat in the bat house, which is especially critical for northern bat species.
Once you have your bathhouse fully complete, it's important to think about where you will place your bathhouse. You're going to want to find an area to mount your bathhouse at least 12 feet from the ground on a building or pole and away from artificial light. They should be mounted in an area that gets at least six hours of direct sunlight to maintain heat. It is also beneficial for bathhouses to be within a quarter mile of water, preferably a stream, river, or lake, and be located 20 to 25 feet from the nearest tree branches, wires, or potential perches to avoid predators. Bathhouses can also be installed any time of the year. Congratulations, you have built a bathhouse. We hope you've enjoyed this video and remember to log any bat sightings you might see on BatMap Long Island and reach out to us with any questions at ctuck.org. Thank you.